This is Brent with Likens Motorsports. This is our 427 side oiler block. This is the foundation for our 397 tunnel port dyno mule. And we're going to put a cam tunnel in today. Um, if you notice though, something has changed since the last time that uh, I was messing around with this. It's got cam bearings in it instead of the bronze uh, bearings. And um, I made the executive decision to niche the uh, the bronze bearings um, just for a couple of different reasons. Uh, one, it was kind of hard to um, get the, the clearance that I needed. Uh, and, and the whole premise of this is not only to use it here on a dyno mule, but to also market that product for for you guys for you guys that are racing and i know that um you don't want to be going back and forth to the machine shop and trying to find um a guy that's got a mandrel that's small enough to to fit inside a cam tunnel and and this and that so um the whole reason we did the bronze bearings the way that we did was so it would be very easy to locate the the tunnel parts the uh the actual sheet metal itself um initially we had those drilled and then the bronze bearings were were flanged and they were tapped and it would just be a nice foundation to just set those in there screw them down put your epoxy in and go um the other reason that i nixed the bronze is because i've never done a bronze bearing before now, I do have um, con I do have a lot of confidence in it. Uh, I think it would have worked. Bronze is hard, um, especially if the clearances were right. You know, the thing was going to be submerged in oil. But with the crankshaft that I'm going to run and the aluminum rods and all of the custom parts in this engine, this isn't the one to be the guinea pig. I, I know it's a dyno mule, but it's an expensive dyno mule. And, um, I don't want to tear stuff up. Um, so the executive decision was to knock, uh, side oiler cam bearings in. And I had Mr. Barrett, our, uh, our expert machinist, pop me out some, some sheet metal without holes. And, you know, that led us to the part where we're thinking, well, how can we keep these things in place while the epoxy is setting. And that's kind of the whole shooting match behind all of this. So Mr. Barrett uh, whittled us out some tools. And um, if this goes to market, then we're gonna sell these tools. Um, this part straddles the cam bearing, the, the aluminum part straddles the cam bearing. And this plastic part is also, it has a radius on it that goes um, in the cam bearing as well. And the way that this would all go is it would fit in there just like that. Um, cam bearing, cam bearing. And what we're doing is we're giving it a shoulder, kind of like you see here. Um, we're giving it a shoulder for these pieces to sit on while the epoxy sets up. And then these pop right back out. Um, so it'll be a nice, neat, uh, you know, way of installing these and we're in good shape. I'm not uh, at all concerned about the function of the cam tunnel. These have been um, used for decades and they are proven to make horsepower. And uh, so I'm just planning to, to find a way to market this and make it easy for you guys. You, you know, you're gonna get a, a pre-shaped part made specifically for an epi block. It may need just a, you know, just a very, fine uh, bit of, of sanding on the edges and everything to get it to fit your particular block. But, um, you know, this beats trying to whittle this stuff out yourself. I'm not that sharp, you may be. But, uh, so our, our plan is to offer these and uh, I wanna get cam tunnel installed. This is gonna be a very long video, um, not in terms of video length, but just the, the amount of time it's gonna take me to film it. Um, just because of the fitment and uh, the uh, I'm going to use JB Weld to uh, to hold all this in, and it's just going to be a lot of labor behind the scenes. But uh, I'll keep you posted. 
So here we go. All right, so I'm making some pretty good progress. I'm using some JB Weld. And um, what has helped me is I mix quite a bit of it. And uh, just, uh, I've been throwing it in there with my finger. And then I took a piece of cardboard with a rounded edge so I can just run it along the bead and smooth it out. So, um, takes like four to six hours for this stuff to set up enough um, where I can go ahead and move my supports out. But what I can do is jump to the front and um, and start on this one. These are basically made to be collapsible. So when everything is done, you can just knock them out and the aluminum pieces fall and they can come out of the cam bearing uh, inside diameter. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this one. All right, this is uh, the Saturday morning. I let this uh, set up overnight and there's no support box and under that rear one it is set up and it's it feels really strong i just put the second one in and did the end beads on the front one um only thing i can say is it's messy and i am a uh i like things to look straight and neat as well as you know how well it performs and um, I guess the functionality of this, it drops right in. Um, there, there's no issues with the functionality. The issues is with me because anything that has to do with <laughs> artistic ability, I have zero. You don't want me anywhere near a paintbrush or a, a die grinder or anything like that. I just don't have uh, that kind of ability. So I've... I've spent most of the time trying to make it look neat and smooth the beads out and you know make it look presentable not that anybody will ever see it the functionality is there just uh it's just my own um qualms that that are giving me trouble but uh, uh very easy to install and um the the biggest issues is that you know any casting flash down here in this area needs to be smoothed out but that probably should be done anyway and that lets these pieces rotate freely and so that you can get them straight um, and I'll move uh, another support block over to this side and we can go ahead and lay this one in the good thing is that you can access all of this from inside the cam tunnel um, so I can uh, I can hit something, you know, take something and, and knock those plastic support blocks out, which will let the aluminum uh, support fall. And then you just kind of play a game of operation with a, a long set of needle nose and you're done. But uh, this is this is super easy. And um, props to uh, to Mr. Barrett for, for nailing all this for me. I'm going to get this last piece in and then uh, we'll we'll recap. While I'm waiting for the uh, JB Weld to set up, um, the next part of this block prep will be uh, just putting the plugs in and we're gonna give it a coat of paint here uh, later today. And uh, I got this uh, new relief valve kit from Precision Oil Pumps. Uh, comes with a new pipe plug and a relief spring and the valve. And um, these go in the, the lower, if the block was in its correct spot, the lower spot here. And if uh, the oil pressure uh, is as above the capability of the spring, then it lets it uh, bypass to the oil pan. Now, Precision Oil Pumps also offers a new front main oil gallery plug that goes right here. This is the passage that feeds um, all your mains. And uh, I usually check to make sure that the threads are not impeding. Uh, you can see my flashlight would work. My flashlight's dead. But there's a passage that comes through here that you don't want to block as with uh, all the other FEs uh, that have this passage going down the side of the block. So I'm gonna thread that in and check it. 
and if it's good then we'll screw it on in all right i just got the last piece in didn't have any issues i haven't had to uh grind on on any of these uh to get them to fit and i think barrett uh used his 390 block to uh to shape them and they worked on this side oiler block so I don't think that they would probably work on a aftermarket block, but uh, we'll have to investigate that in the future. But got all my pipe plugs in and the re relief valve. Uh, I did shim this relief valve um, just for uh, just insurance sake for a little bit more oil pressure and um, got that done. Front plug is in. It did not need to be cut. Um, you can look down this hole with a light and see if this plug impedes this hole but uh it did not so i'm going to give this uh about the day to to set up and then we can knock our support pieces out and uh cam tunnel will be finished and uh i'm very pleased with how it came out uh hopefully we'll get some paint on this thing soon Well, we are still setting up here. Um, I had full intentions of getting this block prepped and painted today, but um, I didn't pay attention to the weather this morning when I uh, got up. It was 15 degrees, so not really a good day to uh, open up the doors and and let the paint fumes out, so we may wait and do that. Um, this block is drilled, or I'm sorry, tapped for restrictors to the lifters so i've already went and made some restrictor plugs and here is a close-up of the the install tools this uh this part of the of the of the tool locates within the cam bearing this outer flange is what the the sheet metal sits on and then this radius fits the cam bearing as well so you basically uh, insert this into the bearing and then slide this underneath of it. Um, it's a pretty tight fit, but uh, it keeps everything positively located as, as you lay your plate down. So, okay, I think I'm going to leave you here. Um, I've got a couple more hours before I feel comfortable knocking out the rest of the supports. Uh, in the tunnel and once that happens I can put uh, my rear cam plug in and uh, I can go ahead and get my uh, flip the block over and get all the gallery plugs installed and that sort of thing hopefully we'll get uh, some I think we're supposed to get a uh, a couple of days of warmer weather next week so I can get some paint on this thing and get it bagged up in preparation for the rest of the parts that are coming in well Thank you all for watching uh, this video. I've uh, This has been kind of a project that has been coming for several years and uh, we kind of just made it through some different iterations and made some design changes along the way. And uh, I think we have a, uh, a pretty nice product here that will uh, be beneficial to the guys who are trying to squeak out some extra ponies. But uh, thanks for watching. Hope you all are having a good weekend and staying warm. And I'll see you soon.